Hey, Sloan, Israel. Um, as you can see, it's still light outside a little bit. I came from work to pick the brother up. You know, we want to do this. Hopefully, we'll have these videos up by tonight. Um, you know, ever since last weekend, you know, I wanted to do, you know, and the spirit was on this brother too, you know, uh, to do a, a just a basic general breakdown of reincarnation, just getting on these these uh, crappy MySpace rappers. St. Louis Israelites. Yeah. <laughs> Them yeah. niggas. They, they made a lot of statements that just it just boggles the mind. And we really not making this video for them because they're not going to get it. They're a bunch of weed head MySpace rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know something wrong with you, you still use a buy space in the first place, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But, uh, <laughs> that's right. um, so basically, you know, we're going to go through some certain points. You know, reincarnation has been broken down so many times that we really don't have to go too deep into it. But I got some thoughts and some questions, you know, that have to be answered, you know, specifically surrounding your Abishai and uh, Solomon that, um, you know, you, you got to answer the question, you know what I'm saying? You know, whether or not that constitutes reincarnation anyway. First of all, we want to deal with the word reincarnation. I mean, these niggas don't even understand what it means. They're treating it like it's like like a boogeyman word. Right. All it means is, again, back into the flesh. Job himself said that. In fact, get that. Get Job chapter 19. Job himself said that. Job was righteous. Yeah, yeah. So, Job was righteous. You going, you know, what you gonna say about Job, man? See, he was going off. Yeah, he was going off when he wrote this, man. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Job nineteen and twenty-five. For I know that my redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Who's the redeemer? That's that's Yahweh Shai. That's who the world called Jesus Christ. That's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's our redeemer, man. But he actually saw Yahweh Shai in the spirit in the in the spirit. Go ahead. Verse 26. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, the body that he's currently in, mm -hmm. and worm, worms represent decomposition, him actually going into the grave, and as uh, David put it in Psalms 49, seeing corruption. Okay. okay. Decomposition. When your body turns to dust, right. as we're going to get, you know, He's saying when that particular body gets destroyed, mm -hmm. okay, go ahead. Yet in my flesh. But in his flesh, what are you talking about? He gonna come back like uh, Michael Jackson? It's thriller. <laughs> thriller. Is that what he's saying? He's like, you redeem, you the redeemer, redeemer night. <laughs> Nick, what are you talking about? Is that how you gonna come back? Or is he going to come back in new flesh? He ain't going to come back in no decomposed flesh. The scriptures say our body's going to be changed, man. Mm -hmm. So what, is, what are you talking about, man? Stay alive. Yeah, yeah, like I said, when we was out there speaking, you guys are the low level. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 26. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. But in his flesh he going to see God. Now, wait a minute. They can't be talking about the spirit world. Because in the spirit world, where is the angels in heaven? Okay? And the angels in heaven, it tells you in Hebrews, are ministers of fire. Yeah. They're pure energy. So we're going to be pure energy in the spirit world. ain't going to be, we're going to be in the flesh in the spirit world, man. Flesh is only relevant on the earth. Now, another thing you, you niggas got all happy and giddy about, hmm? had to be that weed y'all on, man. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. God. And the only thing I want you to read, brother, is the first, <laughs> is the first verse. They read from uh, verse 1 all the way to verse 21, I believe, or verse 20, I think. Right. And they was like, they were, ooh, 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 jump ooh. jumping around, doing all this, saying that that proves their position. But let's see who was talking from verse 1 to 20. Okay, just read verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 1. For the ungodly said. The ungodly said. <laughs> you niggas got all giddy 
about <laughs> verses 1 through 20. Oh my and God. that was the ungodly talking, man. Mm. That was them saying, we, you know. Which is exactly what you were saying. Which is exactly what you are saying. <laughs> you dumb niggas. Oh, man. I encourage you, brothers, to, to, to go and read verse 1 through 20, because I'm going to get the brother to start at verse 21 and read through 24, God. and get the real understanding right, right, right. of what you're really supposed to take out of chapter 2. God. Okay, go ahead. 21? Yep. Was Ms. Solomon 2 and 21. Such things they did imagine and were deceived. Th this is the Solomon talking about the ungodly. Yep. Such things from verse 20 all the way back to verse 1. Yep. Did they conceive, but they would deceive. Yep. Go ahead. For that's their, clear, right? That's, that's clear. 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 Yeah, that's Go ahead. For their own wickedness had blinded them. Yeah. As for the mysteries of the Most High, they knew them not, neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. Yeah. And who blameless souls are the elect? That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Verse 23. For the Most High created man to be immortal. He, he created him to do what? For the Most High created man to be immortal. They say also in Ecclesiastes that he has set eternity in his heart, man. Mm -hmm. He created man to be immortal, man. That's right. Your spirit is already immortal, but the soul is not immortal anymore. I'm talking about the Israelite soul. And we're going to get into that too, what the soul is. Because the soul is the meeting of the, of, of the dust and the spirit, God, man. God. Of the flesh and the spirit. Okay? Yep. Go ahead. For the Most High created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. That's clear, right? That's clear. That means you never die. You never die. Go ahead. Never. But they, you know, they're going to need more proof, so don't worry. We got, we got more for you. Don't worry about it. God. Verse 24, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, Yep. and they that do hold of his side do find it. Yeah, like you niggas, you're going to find death, man, yeah. on in this life. Right, right. Because see, right now, we're in the last generation. We, you know, Lord willing, if we in the spirit, we ain't going to see death, man. God. Okay, now let's get into a little bit of some of the breakdown. Let's go into uh, 1 Kings chapter 17, start at verse 20. Okay, and I'm going I'm to look this word up. Start at verse 20. First Kings. Now this is the story because um Elijah <clears throat> had came up on this woman and she was dying basically running out of food. Right. And basically the Lord had set it up to where if if she gave him food or whatever, that the Lord would bless her. You know what right. I'm saying? Okay. And that, that's what happened over a certain amount of time. She didn't have nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. And the Lord just kept, just like how he fed the 5,000, you know, and the 6,000, whatever. Right, right. The, the bread just kept being there. Yeah. And it came to a point where her son got sick, you know. And, um, you know what started, um, started verse 17. Second, I mean, First Kings 17 Verse 17. Because this nigga, cause I'm, I'm going to show you we use the Strongs. Because this nigga, he, he tried to show the difference between Napash and um, Rawa Ak. Right? right? And the difference, and I'm, I'll explain the difference, man. And I'll explain why Napash was used in this scripture. Right. You dumb nigga. You stupid nigga. Yeah, I don't know. Rawa Ak or now He said, nigga, said all kind of shit, blabbing out of his mouth, whatever you want to call it. Nigga, you going to talk about. The scriptures don't say. That's so he said. You want know, the scriptures say, uh, not read to show thyself approved, but study. Yeah. If you actually do some reading along with studying, then you'd understand these scriptures. But you're not spiritual, so. Yeah. So we expect that. You know <laughs> what I'm saying. Go ahead. First uh, Kings 17 and 17, and it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick, and her, and his sickness was so sore that there was no.